This question came in 2008 paper 1 and it was not so straight. If you differentiate 2 plus x whole cube and equate it to 0, you get x equal to minus 2. When you differentiate it again, you realize that the second derivative is becoming 0 which indicates towards the possibility of point of inflection. Also, if you differentiate this, then you find that uh, you are having problem. So, simple differentiation equating to 0, that was not really going to work in this question. One should go for uh, increasing, decreasing type of method. If you differentiate it, uh, 2 plus x whole cube, you get square, which is a positive number. It indicates that this function is an increasing function and minus 2 should be a point of inflection. Let me put up the graph. Here it comes. Now look at this one. Here is point minus 2. This is the point of inflection. So this is an increasing function. And when you look at this one, then its first derivative has x to the power minus 1 by 3. Now when you have x to the power minus 1 by 3, it means that when x is negative, f dash x is going to be negative. That means when x is negative, this is going to be decreasing function. And when x is positive, x to the power minus 1 by 3 would be positive and it would be an increasing function. Look at this graph now. When x is positive, increasing function. When x is negative, decreasing function. Now, decreasing to increasing, this one. Decreasing and then increasing, then obviously there should be a point of local minima. So one point of local minima is going to be here and that sign change obviously will take place at zero. So here is a point of local minima. Now this is increasing. This between minus 1 to 0 is decreasing. And at minus 1, you can see this is equal to 1. And at minus 1, this is uh, also approaching the same height. So near minus 1, both are reaching the same heights. But one of them is increasing and the other is decreasing. When one is increasing and the other is decreasing, then it means there should be a local maxima there. Now look at this graph. This one is increasing and this one is decreasing. Here is the point of local maxima. So at local maxima or at local minima, here in this question one can't say that f dash x is zero. So one has to follow increasing-decreasing method.